Nationals are split over the no vote on The Voice. The Nationals push to oppose a constitutionally enshrined Indigenous voice to Parliament has inflamed internal divisions with one Shadow Minister and the party's West Australian division vowing to back Anthony Albanese's referendum regardless. Christy, it's probably going to be a little bit messy considering it caught, caught a lot of people off guard when we had David Little Proud and Jacinta Price uh, stand up yesterday to say that the Nats will be voting no at a national level. Does it really matter what the outlying sort of party uh, part branches mean to, to, to this vote or do you think that we need, a, you know, a, a cohesion within party ranks for the referendum? Uh, I don't think we have a great need for cohesion. The coalition parties are determining uh, whether, or the Liberal Party is certainly determining whether they'll give people uh, mm. a conscious vote in terms of creating that decision mm. for the party. So they have uh, made that decision. I think David Littleproud put some very, very good arguments. He reinforced that the National Party was the party of rural and regional Australia. Uh, most of our Indigenous population that are affected by significant issues uh, around the gap uh, in health and education, domestic violence and policing live in rural and regional Australia. So the language that he used very much enshrined the National Party as taking that stance because they had uh, consulted with their own constituents, uh, mostly the Indigenous leaders who live in those rural and regional communities. I thought it was very smart politics from him. Uh, and uh, Labor, of course, has provided nothing uh, around their thought bubble of uh, changing uh, the Australian constitution and putting a referendum. So I can't see how David Littlebrowd uh, has faltered here today.